just as CERN has presented the heliocentric model, we might witness another groundbreaking revision in our cosmic understanding. A debating cosmology, known as the crisis of cosmology, has emerged. Neil deGrasse Tyson claims that the James Webb finding has resolved this debate with a physics-shattering image. So, what is this crisis, and how has the James Webb Space Telescope contributed to it? For those unfamiliar, it's challenging for old-timer to label it as a crisis, but we find ourselves in a situation where we didn't precisely know the age or size of the universe as they are related within a factor of two. Join us as we explore the forefront of science where our knowledge is continually questioned and unexpected discoveries are made. The Standard Model of Cosmology, a significant achievement over the past century, outlines the universe's history and current state. Gravity, guided by general relativity, primarily dictates the universe's evolution, explaining its expansion and the formation of large cosmic structures. Components include dark energy, dark matter, normal matter, neutrinos, and photons. The universe originated from the hot Big Bang around 13.8 billion years ago, preceded by cosmic inflation causing density imperfections. However, this model, despite extensive observational support, is now under scrutiny. With the JWST, astronomers have a new tool that has been causing problems in our standard model. In the early universe, before stars or galaxies emerged, neutral atoms formed around 300,000 years post-Big Bang. Reionization occurred 550 million years later when most of the universe became ionized. The JWST allows astronomers to unveil more distant galaxies than previously possible, offering new insights into the early universe. The standard model, known as the inflationary hot Big Bang or Lambda CDM, has explained various features of the universe successfully. But conflicting evidence has emerged, resulting in a crisis of cosmology. The crisis is simple, we don't really, really know the age of the universe, and different methods provide different results. Scientists are struggling to understand why this is the case. One method used to measure the universe's age is cosmic background radiation. Scientists delve into the universe's expansion history using mathematical modeling based on Einstein's general relativity theory. This theory produces the Friedman equations, linking the universe's composition with its expansion rate at specific times. The cosmic microwave background, remaining light from the early day of the universe, is a crucial tool in measuring its contents. However, detailed maps of the CMB, like those from the European Space Agency's Planck mission, lack data on dark energy, a significant player in the current universe. Despite these challenges, scientists use the Friedman equations to determine the expansion rate of the universe at any given time. Scientists can determine the universe's expansion rate and consequently its current age. Another method to gauge the universe's age is by examining exploding stars. While the cosmic microwave background provides a detailed record of the universe's composition, it's essentially a historical snapshot originating billions of years ago. Observing the universe's expansion rate directly is possible through phenomena like type IA supernova, where a star dumps its atmosphere onto a nearby white dwarf, leading to a spectacular explosion. These supernovae serve as consistent benchmarks, known as standard candles, allowing scientists to estimate the universe's expansion rate at the time of their occurrence. This method, crucially employed in the late 1990s, played a pivotal role in discovering dark energy, becoming a cornerstone in cosmological measurements. It's particularly useful for determining the Hubble constant, a measure of the universe's expansion rate since the Big Bang. However, recent observations have shown discrepancies in the expansion rate, indicating potential unknown forces at play. NASA has noted an intriguing observation, if the universe's expansion slows, it suggests a possible influence of unknown forces like dark matter. Conversely, if the expansion rate accelerates, it could be attributed to dark energy. The Hubble Space Telescope and other instruments have measured varying expansion rates across different observation points. Edwin Hubble, after whom the telescope is named, first proposed the expansion rate in 1929. Initially interpreted as galaxies moving away from each other, it's now understood as the universe's expansion. However, reconciling measurements from different telescopes and methods remains challenging. Despite technological advancements, discrepancies persist in measuring the universe's age and expansion rate. While these advancements aim to answer fundamental questions, 
they often raise more uncertainties. One proposed explanation for the discrepancies involves potential flaws in cosmic microwave background measurements or variations in dark energy over time. Another possibility is the complexity of modeling supernovae accurately, leading to uncertainties in their use as cosmological tools. The James Webb Space Telescope, while adding to our understanding, has also complicated cosmological matters further, suggesting the need for a re-evaluation of our current scientific understanding. The Flamingo Project, a key initiative within the Virgo Consortium, represents a multidisciplinary effort involving astrophysicists, cosmologists, computational scientists, and data analysts. This collaborative endeavor is focused on conducting extensive computer simulations that span the entire cosmic timeline from the early moments of the universe's inception to the present day. These simulations are powered by sophisticated algorithms and numerical techniques that encapsulate our current understanding of fundamental physical processes governing the cosmos. They take into account a plethora of factors, including the gravitational dynamics of dark matter and ordinary matter, gas hydrodynamics, radiative transfer, star formation, feedback from supernovae, and active galactic nuclei, as well as the formation and evolution of structures on various scales. The Flamingo Project simulations aim to generate synthetic universes that closely mimic the observed properties of the universe as revealed by telescopes and other observational instruments. By calibrating these simulations against a wealth of observational data, scientists can validate their models and gain deeper insights into the underlying mechanisms driving cosmic evolution. This ambitious undertaking requires significant computational resources, and the Flamingo Project leveraged high-performance computing clusters and supercomputers to carry out its simulations. These computational facilities enable researchers to simulate large volumes of cosmic space at high resolution, allowing them to study the formation of galaxies, galaxy clusters, and large-scale cosmic structures with unprecedented detail. Funding for the Flamingo Project comes from various sources, including grants from the European Research Council, the UK Science and Technology Facilities Council, the Netherlands Organisation for Scientific Research, and the Swiss National Science Foundation. This financial support enables the project team to access cutting-edge computational infrastructure, hire skilled personnel, and foster international collaborations essential for advancing our understanding of the universe. Through the Flamingo Project and similar initiatives, scientists aim to address fundamental questions in cosmology, such as the origins of cosmic structures, the nature of dark matter and dark energy, and the evolution of galaxies over cosmic time. By combining theoretical modeling with observational data, researchers strive to unravel the complexities of the universe's history and shed light on its fundamental properties. The Flamingo Project, a significant initiative within the Virgo Consortium, embodies a collaborative effort among astrophysicists, cosmologists, computational scientists, and data analysts. This interdisciplinary approach is essential for tackling the complex challenges inherent in understanding the evolution of the universe. At its core, the Flamingo Project utilizes advanced computational techniques to simulate the entire cosmic timeline from the earliest moments after the Big Bang to the present day. These simulations are powered by sophisticated algorithms and numerical techniques that encapsulate our current understanding of fundamental physical processes governing the cosmos. They take into account a plethora of factors, including the gravitational dynamics of dark matter and ordinary matter, gas hydrodynamics, radiative transfer, star formation, feedback from supernovae, and active galactic nuclei, as well as the formation and evolution of structures on various scales. The Flamingo Project simulations aim to generate synthetic universes that closely mimic the observed properties of the universe as revealed by telescopes and other observational instruments. By calibrating these simulations against a wealth of observational data, scientists can validate their models and gain deeper insights into the underlying mechanisms driving cosmic evolution. This ambitious undertaking requires significant computational resources, and the Flamingo Project leveraged high-performance computing clusters and supercomputers to carry out its simulations. These computational facilities enable researchers to simulate large volumes of cosmic space at high resolution, allowing them to study the formation of galaxies, galaxy clusters, and large-scale cosmic structures with unprecedented detail. Funding for the Flamingo Project comes from various sources, including grants from the European Research Council, the UK Science and Technology Facilities Council, the
the Netherlands Organization for Scientific Research and the Swiss National Science Foundation. This financial support enables the project team to access cutting-edge computational infrastructure, hire skilled personnel, and foster international collaborations essential for advancing our understanding of the universe. Through the Flamingo Project and similar initiatives, scientists aim to address fundamental questions in cosmology, such as the origins of cosmic structures, the nature of dark matter and dark energy, and the evolution of galaxies over cosmic time. By combining theoretical modeling with observational data, researchers strive to unravel the complexities of the universe's history and shed light on its fundamental properties. The Flamingo Project, a significant initiative within the Virgo Consortium, embodies a collaborative effort among astrophysicists, cosmologists, computational scientists, and data analysts. This interdisciplinary approach is essential for tackling the complex challenges inherent in understanding the evolution of the universe. At its core, the Flamingo Project utilizes advanced computational techniques to simulate the entire cosmic timeline from the earliest moments after the Big Bang to the present day. These simulations are powered by sophisticated algorithms that incorporate our current understanding of fundamental physical processes governing the cosmos, including gravitational interactions, gas dynamics, star formation, and feedback mechanisms from stars and black holes. The simulations conducted as part of the Flamingo project aim to generate synthetic universes that closely mirror the observed properties of the universe as revealed by telescopes such as the Euclid Space Telescope and NASA's James Webb Space Telescope. By comparing the simulated data to observational data, scientists can assess the accuracy of the standard cosmological model and identify any discrepancies that may challenge our current understanding of cosmic evolution. Professor Carlos Frank, a key collaborator in the Flamingo research and Ogden Professor of Fundamental Physics at Durham University, emphasizes the pivotal moment in cosmology that the project represents. He notes that cosmology is at a crossroads, with new telescopes providing increasingly accurate data that may not align perfectly with our theoretical models. This discrepancy raises questions about the validity of our existing models and the potential presence of biases in our understanding of the universe. The Flamingo project builds upon previous simulations that primarily focused on cold dark matter but now places greater emphasis on incorporating ordinary matter, which constitutes only 16% of the universe, as well as neutrinos. Led by Professor Juicy Cupin from Leiden University, researchers conducted extensive simulations using the Corsma 8 supercomputer, part of the Durham High Performance Computing Facility. These simulations spanned over two years and considered the impact of both dark matter and ordinary matter, with a particular focus on the LAD. To achieve these simulations, researchers introduced a new code called SWIFT, which enabled the distribution of computational tasks across thousands of central processing units, sometimes reaching up to 65,000 CPUs. This advanced computational approach allowed for a detailed analysis of the universe's evolution, providing insights into the role of ordinary matter in shaping cosmic structures. Despite the challenges posed by discrepancies between observational data and theoretical models, the Flamingo Project represents a concerted effort to push the boundaries of our understanding of the universe through rigorous computational simulations, interdisciplinary collaboration, and a commitment to scientific inquiry. Researchers aim to unravel the mysteries of cosmic evolution and gain deeper insights into the fundamental nature of the cosmos. Albert Einstein's theory of general relativity revolutionized our understanding of gravity by conceptualizing space and time as a unified fabric, which he termed space-time. This innovative framework depicted gravity not as a force acting at a distance but rather as the curvature of space-time caused by the presence of mass and energy. One of the profound implications of general relativity is gravitational lensing, where the curvature of space-time bends the path of light rays, leading to observable distortions in the images of distant celestial objects. Gravitational lensing has become a crucial tool in modern cosmology, allowing astronomers to study the distribution of matter in the universe and probe its underlying structure. By analyzing the subtle distortions in the shapes and positions of galaxies, researchers can infer the distribution of dark matter, which outweighs visible matter by a significant margin and exerts a gravitational influence on the light passing through it. Weak gravitational lensing surveys, in particular, have emerged as powerful probes of cosmological structure. 
These surveys involve a statistical analysis of millions of galaxies to detect the subtle gravitational distortions caused by intervening matter along the line of sight. By measuring the statistical properties of these distortions, astronomers can constrain cosmological parameters such as the amplitude of density fluctuations and the matter density of the universe. However, recent observations have revealed a puzzling inconsistency between measurements of the universe's homogeneity derived from weak gravitational lensing surveys and those obtained from cosmic microwave background experiments. The CMB, which is the remnant radiation from the early universe, provides a snapshot of the universe's density fluctuations at a time when it was only 380,000 years old. Analysis of the CMB has yielded precise measurements of cosmological parameters, including the amplitude of density fluctuations, which are essential for understanding the large-scale structure of the universe. The discrepancy, known as the S8 tension, refers to the difference between the values of the S8 parameter derived from weak gravitational lensing surveys and those inferred from CMB measurements. The S8 parameter quantifies the level of matter clustering on large scales and is crucial for testing cosmological models. The tension arises because weak gravitational lensing surveys suggest a lower value of S8 than that predicted by the standard cosmological model based on CMB data. Efforts to reconcile the S8 tension have led researchers to explore various hypotheses, ranging from potential systematic errors in the data to fundamental revisions of our understanding of gravity. Computer simulations, such as the Flamingo Project, have played a crucial role in this endeavor by providing insights into the complex interplay between dark matter, ordinary matter, and gravitational forces in shaping the cosmic web. Despite the challenges posed by the S8 tension, some measurements taken between low redshifts and the CMB remain consistent with the standard cosmological model. This has led to the intriguing possibility that the universe may have undergone a transformative shift in its evolution, challenging our current understanding of cosmic structure and evolution. In summary, the S8 tension represents a significant challenge to our understanding of cosmological structure and may require revisions to existing theoretical frameworks. While it is unclear whether these discoveries will necessitate minor adjustments or a complete rewrite of the book on cosmology, they underscore the dynamic and evolving nature of scientific inquiry and the ongoing quest to unravel the mysteries of the universe. Thanks for joining us.